So in The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, parts of the world would be covered in twilight, everybody under twilight would become a spirit, and many twilight monsters would roam the area. But because Link carries the Triforce of Wisdom, he would transform into a wolf rather than turn into a spirit. So in order to remove the twilight from the area, Link had to collect a number of tiers of light in the area. The spirits of light would then clear the whole area from twilight, and everything would turn back to normal. So I decided to recreate this in Super Mario Maker with the new update with the red coins. And the area I decided to recreate was Kakariko Village. So let's start the level now. So of course, we're starting off the level as Wolf Link. And we're at the entrance of Kakariko Village right now. So as a nice little extra detail that you can't normally see. I added a twilight portal at the entrance of this level. So here's this area's fountain that contains the spirits of light. Once we collect all the tiers of light, aka the red coins, we'll be back here. So here's Renato's house. Everybody in this village is currently hiding in there. And next to his house, we have a nice little tree and a fence. So like I said earlier, everybody inside of Twilight will become a spirit. The boos are supposed to represent those spirits. So just like in Twilight Princess, the spirit of Barnes is looking outside of the window. He's terrified of all the monsters outside. So in the center of the room, I added a statue, just like in the original game. So in Twilight Princess, Shadow Bugs carried the Tears of Light. Link had to defeat them in order to collect their Tears of Light. It's not possible to do this in Super Mario Maker, since you can't make enemies hold red coins. Originally, I wanted to recreate the Kakariko Village Graveyard too, but due to Super Mario Maker's limits, I had to drop the idea. And here's Mallow's Mart. Of course, just like in the original game, his shop is all fancy and decorated. To the left of it, we even have two poles being connected by flags. Alright, cool. We got our second tier of light. So right behind Mallow's Mart, there's a little cliff you could walk up to. It leads to the roof of the hotel next door. So in order to enter the hotel, we're going to use the entrance up here, rather than the front entrance. Alright, let's head in there now. I bet there's a tear of light in there. So here we have the hotel's kitchen, and of course, here is its chimney. And outside of the kitchen, we have a little bar area. Here we have a table and some chairs. And it looks like one of the enemies is a bartender for the night, how nice. So let's head to the second floor of the hotel. Here we have another table and some more chairs. And on the ceiling, we even have a nice little chandelier. And here's the room with all of the beds. Looks like there's a tier of light on top of the bookshelf. Alright, so this is our third one. Two more left. I wonder what else is going on in this village. Let's go find out. Okay, I seriously don't know how I landed on top of that Koopa shell. Heh, <laughs> whatever. Let's go look for the rest of the Tears of Light. So the roof of this hotel leads to a hot spring located on top of a cliff behind a building. Just like in the actual game. Damn, just look at that enemy just chilling at the hot spring. So 
So in the game, there was a platform to the right of the hot spring, which is what we have right here. And right here, we have the bomb shop, which is why I added a bomb on top of the door to act like a sign. And next to the bomb shop, we have its little shed right next to it. And next to that, we have a little stand that a Goron uses as a shop during the night time. And this right here is supposed to be the gate that leads to Hyrule Field. We can't enter Hyrule Field yet, so let's go back and look for the final tier of light. Alright, so next, we're going to be heading to the roof of the bomb shop. I bet that's where the final tier of light is. Man, I was never a big fan of Twilight Princess. But playing the HD port changed my mind. Man, I love it now. So in the game, the bomb shop had a second floor and a balcony on top of the roof. The balcony was used in order to enter an area behind the bomb shop. This area was on top of a cliff behind the building, kinda like with the hot spring. We can't enter the actual balcony though until we turn into a human, so we'll be back. This right here is supposed to be a little signpost that was on top of this area. And this right here is supposed to be the bomb shop owner's storage house. In the actual game, the house blows up. I didn't really want to recreate that. Because by removing the house, it's possible to jump over the gate, leading to Hyrule Field. So now that we have all the tiers of light, let's head back to the fountain. Alright, and... Everything is back to normal now, and we're human again. So I recreated the whole main area to the sub area. This is also what I did to my Fungi Forest level from Donkey Kong 64. So anyways, let's head to Hyrule Field now. Look at that! The Goron is just chilling in the hot spring with his son. So now that we're human, we could now enter the balcony of the bomb shop. So let me reset the clock real fast, since we're almost out of time. So thankfully, there's a Link costume over here. So as you can see, the house has been destroyed now. I hope the bomb shop guy had insurance. <laughs> Alright, so now that the gate is open, let's head to Hyrule Field now. So just like in the original game, the entrance to Hyrule Field also has a bunch of cliffs. There are even some secrets hiding on top of the cliff, so let's head there. Alright, so let's bomb this boulder and see what's behind it. Oh cool, we're a wolf again. This right here is supposed to be the horse call grass that Link uses to call Epona. Oh man, looks like Epona didn't hear her call. Oh and by the way, there are three hidden one-up mushrooms up here. So let's move on now. Watch out for the Boblins riding their bull bulls. So in Twilight Princess, the Boblins riding bolons would shoot arrows at Link. So the Hammer Brothers was the perfect enemy to represent that. Damn, Hyrule Field is so grassy. I love it. And these are the pillars that lead to the Bridge of Elden. Speaking of which, here it is. Of course, the Bridge of Elden appeared in Super Smash Bros. Brawl and Wii U as a stage. 
So it's time to fight King Boblin now. Okay, so this should be easy. Alright, cool. We lost our costume though, but there's another one over here. So in Twilight Princess, you can see Hyrule Castle from here. I decided to recreate that by aligning tracks in the shape of a castle. So the exit of this level is inside this cave, but we need to find a key first. So let's go look for it. So from up here, you can see a twilight portal. Alright, let me move Link up there. Oh man, too bad nothing happens when we touch it. So let's go finally finish this level. Cool, we found the key. Let's move on now. And there's the finish! <laughs> FYI, there's an invisible block here. And that was pretty much it. If you want to download or play my level, just enter the code shown on screen right now. So thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.